Hey, how you doing? So, just going to give it a minute or so. Um, so that you understand, for me to be able to do this on the whiteboard behind me, I need to flip the camera around so I can't actually see any of the comments. Which is why if I'm looking down here, it's because I'm looking on my uh, laptop. So I can just see all the live comments and everything. So, please do me a favour, any Q&As that you've got about this, share them. I'm going to spend 30 minutes right now talking about sales funnels and talking about how you can generate more income into your business. So this is really just a way for me to help give you some information that you can then go and implement. So this is really aimed at anyone who is either a business owner, an entrepreneur, if you've got a business, want a business, got a hobby you want to make money out of, these are some things that are going to really help you with that. And what I'm going to focus on are two main areas. So if you have a business at the moment, or if you have a product or a service, this is specifically really aimed at people with products or services, then you need to be able to sell those, right? And one of the things you're going to have to be able to do to sell that is you're going to need, and sorry, I'm just going to make sure I've got this live feed up so that this works. One of the things you're going to need to be able to do is sell. You need to be able to sell. So, hi everyone who's on the call, by the way. Type me a little comment, because I don't know, I can't see who's on there at the moment. Um, I'm not getting any of the things pop up. So Neil, hey, how you doing? Thank you very much, appreciate it. So as I said, I'm gonna be looking at the screen here so that I can see the comments because I've had to flip the camera around because otherwise, everything that I write on here would be backwards. Because as you know, Facebook and iPhones haven't yet quite figured out how to flip the app so that you can actually read it all the right way around. Hey guys, hey, hey, hey. Nice to see everyone, brilliant. Good to see you on here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spend 30 minutes, I'm going to do a Q&A. If you have any questions about your business, if I can specifically help you right now in your business, then let's do a live example. There's nothing better than adding value. I've been talking to people recently, and they're not being arrogant or anything. I'm really good at what I do for other people. The reason I've struggled in my own business is just because of me. It's my own internal belief structure that I've had around money and not wanting to sell and promote myself. But when you take that out of the equation, I mean, I'm... Really good, so the stuff I'm about to give you now is amazing. I'm just pre-framing that so that you know that this isn't a waste of time. If you've got a business, I can promise you, I guarantee you, that if you implement what I'm about to tell you in your business, you will make money, guaranteed. So two things, for a sales funnel, we're gonna talk about sales funnel and how to make money in your business. It comes down to two things. You need traffic and you need conversions. That's it, okay? A sales funnel, is the process of taking traffic and converting it. All right, so you need to first get the traffic into the sales funnel, and then throughout the process, you need to convert them because the outcome is to make money. Okay, as a business, it needs to make money, we need to earn money, and the only way we can do that is at the start here, we have a person, an unhappy person. So we need to get this unhappy person to give money, and the only way we can do that is to add value. Okay, it is purely a value proposition. That is it. The more perceived value that this person sees, the more money they will give you. Simple as that. If you want to earn money, you need to deliver value. So how do we do that? To get traffic, let's start here. We're going to break it down into two sections. Talk about traffic first for anyone who's struggling to get traffic. And then I'll stop, I'll look at the questions, and then we'll go on to conversions. And then we'll do the Q&A and everything. So uh, it is all about money. Is it all about money? Absolutely. So Neil, that's a great question. The reason, look, let me just explain this really quickly. You've either got a business or a hobby, okay? That's it. If you've got a hobby, that's great. I totally respect that. But if you've got a business, the only way a business can survive is to earn money. It has to earn money. If it's not earning money, it's not a business. Whatever you want to do as an individual, as a collective, as a group, society, whatever, that's fantastic. I honor and I admire that and that's totally up to you. But if you are running a business, the business has to be profitable. If you don't earn profit, then you can't pay your tax, you can't pay your bills, you can't use the services, you can't have anything. And look, reality is, however you look at it, the more money you've got, the more people you can help. So whatever your agenda is, you, like, we're in a society these days where we need money. Okay, it's like the whole reason I'm in the situation that I'm in because of recent events is because of my challenge that I've got. I, I can, I'm the biggest person to tell you that I fucking hate money and the, all the shit that it brings. I don't like it. That's why I work for free because I don't have that worry. But the, the truth is you, you need to earn money. We need it to live. We need it to eat. We need it to be healthy. We need it to, to help other people, to get our message out there, to market. So you, you need to have money. So it's it totally, this like is all about money. But let me just pre-frame it for you and give you another example. 
The way that you earn the money is by helping the person. If you focus totally on the person that has a problem. So let's, let's, let's break this down and look at traffic. Right, three things. Really, really simple. The first one is the problem. You need to understand what is the problem of the person that you are trying to help. When you look at the problem of the person that you're trying to help, you then need to understand what is their pain. Okay? And I used a really good example. I'm going to do I'm going to use an example in a minute. I've got a really good example to use. Once you know what their problem is, you understand what their pain is, you need to look at what is their outcome. Okay? Now, I'm going to weave a story into this and I'm going to kind of do it just along the bottom here. It's going to be my little sales funnel. So, let's imagine that we have a person here and he's not happy because he's in pain, right? So, what's the problem? The problem is, let's imagine, this is my really bad gun, let's imagine he's been shot, okay? I was in the army, this is um, an accurate representation of somebody getting shot. So, the problem is he's been shot. The pain, he's got a bullet in him, it hurts, okay? So, what you need to do is you need to focus on the pain. Does it hurt right here? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're not going to tell him he's been shot because that will freak him out. That may cause him to bleed out. That may cause him to panic. That may cause additional stress. All we're going to do is the first step is offer him some morphine. We're just going to take away the pain. That's all we're going to do. And so that's all you need to do. In the initial stages with your traffic, the very, very first thing you need to do is take away the pain. So we know the problem, the pain, the outcome. We understand that and why we're doing it. I'm going to come back to the questions in a sec. There are another three things we need to do around traffic. Who are we helping? Where are they? And how do we connect to them? So the way that we connect is that we let them know that we understand their pain and their problem and that we have an outcome. Okay? This is their pain and problem. This is their outcome. Does this make sense so far? By the way, if you're enjoying this, please tag, like, and share. Tag, if, you, if anyone else needs to hear this, tag them in the comments for me, and please share it. I would really appreciate it. I'm doing this for free because I want you to get this. It really is important. But I would love it if you can just help me to get out there as well so that as many people can figure this out. Because like, people pay thousands for training that teaches this. All right? I've done it. I've paid thousands, and I've done the training. I'm like, I know this. This is this stuff. I'm giving it to you now for free. Like, don't assume just because I'm doing a Facebook Live that there's no value in this. Right? This is everything around making money online. Everything. This is like the fundamental, the foundation of what you need. You need to know who you're targeting. Who is this person? Customer avatar. I talk about this. I'm going to post a link in this video <clears throat> where I go through the customer avatar and I'll teach you everything that you need to know about how to identify who is your customer avatar. But you need to know who they are. Once you know who they are, you need to know where they are. You need to know what they do, where they hang out. Are they on Facebook? Are they on Twitter? Are they on Instagram? Are they on forums? Are they down the shop? Are they a local mum's group? Are they at the golf range? Like, where are they? Because once you know who they are, once you know where they are, once you understand their problem and their pain, once you know what they want their outcome to be, then you can connect to them. And this is what it's all about. It's about connection. If you can connect to them, hey, are you in pain? I've got an instant solution that's going to take away that pain. I'll give you another example. I used this recently. My dad has an oil leak on his car. Okay, so my dad had an oil leak on his car and that was the problem. But the pain wasn't the oil leak. The pain was my stepmom nagging at him. You're getting oil on the driveway. That's the pain. It's the, oh my God, I've got to deal with that. Or, oh, what if I break down because the car's not working properly? So the problem's the oil leak, but the pain is what he attaches to. It's the emotional connection. And when you can show empathy to the pain and offer a solution... That's it. You've connected. And once you've connected, then all you do is you say, look, I understand. I understand that this is your pain. And what I'm telling you is that I know what you want. And I can get you there. You need one thing. One simple thing. This is what this is. Because there are two types of traffic. You've got cold and warm traffic. Okay? I mean, you can, you can, you can break this down into any other way that you want. But the difference between cold and warm traffic... The only real difference you need to worry about is social proof. Social proof is just... If you can imagine here that to take someone from cold to warm, what you need is social proof. 
You don't need an exclusive, like a, a, a really like amazing like sales funnel with all these products and all that. All you need is to say, hey, look, you've got a problem. I've solved it for this person. I can solve it for you as well. That's it. If you've got social proof, then people always want what other people have. And if you can tell them that you understand their pain, their problem, their outcome, you know who they are, where they are, you've connected with them, you've shown empathy, you've also shown social proof that you can get them the results because you've done it before, they will buy from you. That's it. They will buy from you. Because it works. Because we've seen it. Time and time and time and time again. I'm going to look at some of these comments, just see what people said. John, thank you, man. Yeah, this is gold. Absolute gold. Make sure you share it, please. Like... Selling drugs now, Steve. Um, yep, right, so let's do a sell. No, I'm not gonna do a sales funnel for drugs. Um, this is great. Uh, we need to partner up. Um, this is just what I needed to hear. Look, you are more than welcome. Um, you just started, well, good thing for me. Uh, what is the meaning of life? Uh, the meaning of life is 42. If you remember that, that'll probably serve you in some capacity in life, it's 42. That's the answer to that question. Um, yeah, guys, um, please share it away. Tag other people if you think. And also, if this has added value to you, give me a little, give me a review, give me feedback. Just say, Steve is amazing because he knows his shit and he helped me. Right. Does that make sense? Traffic, yeah? I'm not going to go into all the different things about how to generate traffic and what to do and where to get it all. We can do that later. But understanding the concept of traffic and what you need to do to obtain the traffic. What I'm going to do now is talk about the second part of this, which I mentioned, which is about the conversions. All right, because I want to make sure you get it. I don't even know how long I've been recording. Let me check. Because I promised I'd do half an hour. What's that, about 11 minutes? Boom, I'm on fire. 11 minutes. Change your life, look, in 10 minutes. How easy is that? Does that all make sense? Do you get that? Someone screenshot that for me? Thank you. Right, so... Actually, let me leave that bit there. I'm just going to take all this off. Give me a couple of seconds. Post all your questions, guys. Let me know, and girls. If you've got something at the moment, tell me what you're doing at the moment. What business are you doing? Post a link to your website. Tell me what you do. Tell me what you're doing. Tell me why you're doing it. Tell me what value you're adding. Tell me what problem you're solving. Tell me who you're solving it for. Let me know in the comments. Tell me. I'll know all about you. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna take you through the sales funnel process. Do you understand why I needed to mention that first, why it was so important? Like I had to give you that so that you understood because with no traffic, like you can build out the most amazing website or the most amazing funnel or the most amazing product that you want. But if you have no traffic, then you have no money because you have to be able to take people from here to here. Okay, so you have to start with the traffic first. Even if it's with the promise of this or the idea of this or even if it's to get feedback about this. You need to be able to take people from their problem, let's just say pain, okay, towards their desire or their solution or the outcome, whatever that is, okay? This is the problem. Now, most people don't know what their problem is. Most people have a problem, but it's not the problem that they really have, it's the problem they think they have. So you, Knowing them, you need to know them better than they know themselves. You need to know them so well that you can tell them what their problem is, even if they don't know it, so you can give them the value. So the sales funnel, this is the way that you do it. You start off, you don't tell them that they've been shot, remember? Someone's been shot, you've got to give them morphine. So what you do, this is, I'm going to use cold traffic as an example. You should always do um, any form of marketing, any form of testing, trialing, always do it on warm traffic first. Always do it to people that know, like, and trust you already. That's why all of the concepts that I draw up and I write and everything, I'll do a Facebook Live on it first before I'll turn it into an ad, before I'll do anything to go on to um, cold traffic. So if you're going to get cold traffic, the best way you can do it is this person who goes unhappy, you need an ad or some sort of advertisement or some way to promote or market to them. Okay? And what this should do is this should identify with them what is their pain. Okay, I understand what your pain is. Ideally, here's someone that I've helped before. Oh, and by the way, here's what you should do. Okay, really, really simple. Now, what this should focus on, this is thanks to my good friend, Ken Foody, is one thing. Ken Foody told me, and we've worked on this, and it works really well. This is simple. The problem that I've had in my business, and the reason I've had so many challenges, is because I've been trying to give everyone everything. And by giving people everything, they get overwhelmed. 
shit, I've been shot. It's like, ah, people freak out. It's too much. Don't tell them they've been shot. Just tell them that you understand they're in pain, that you understand what that pain is, and that you have a really simple way to ease that pain and to take that pain away. And you offer them one thing. And this can be a video or a download or whatever. Videos are best. And what you want to do is you want to offer them that one thing. Now, when they come through to here, you can do it as an opt-in if you want, where you collect their email address before you give it to them, or you can give them the free training straight away. It's completely up to you. I would recommend that you test it. Maybe take their email address, for one, maybe take them straight to a video. Maybe you can have like a two-part video, you know, or maybe you have a download where they have to they, they have to download it to get it. Maybe you give them part one of the video and then they have to opt in to get part two. Do you know what I mean? So like there's different things that you can do and you can test this. Now, let me just tell you right now, nobody knows what works. Anyone that tells you that they know what works is bullshit. The only way that people know what actually works is when they test something and they get results, factual results, and they adjust on those results. That is it. Until you build this, until you get it live, and until you test it, you will not know if this works. What works for one industry won't work for another. What works for some person won't work for another person. What works in one country won't work in another. There are things that you can do to help you but ultimately, what you need to do is get one thing, one funnel, one sales funnel, one process, one outcome, fix one problem, start with that. Once you've got that, then you can add other things into it. But start with one thing, get one thing working, get money coming in, and then you can move on from that. Does that make sense? I'm just having a look. John, it's true, mate. No one knows what works. And here's the thing. Here's the reason. I can tell you about technology. I can tell you about all the latest tech that's out there. But tech moves so quick. By the time I've learned the tech to be able to teach you the tech, there's new tech. And so I'm constantly having to innovate what I know. And there's new pro products and programs coming out. And you've got internet marketers that are trying to make money. And you've got software companies that are evolving. And so because we're at the, the, the place we are in, like, in our evolution at the moment as human beings... We're evolving so quickly in terms of technology and business and mindset and consciousness and everything that's going on. And like, I mean, Trump's president, for fuck's sake. Anything's possible, right? Nobody knows what's going to work. All you can do is test it. All you can do is test it. And when you test it, you'll get facts. You'll know because you'll monitor it. And I'll talk about that in a minute. So now that you know that you've got your ad, which tells them about the pain, right? And it offers them a quick solution. What you then do is you say, okay, now you've got your solution, your quick solution, we've taken away the pain, right? Now what we need to do is we need to tell you that you've been shot. So now we need to say, look, this is good and it's helped you. However, what you really need is to understand this. This is the big thing. This is the, this is the thing that's going to change everything. Okay, so this is just giving you a little bit, but this is the main thing. And for you to do that, you're going to have to, like, let's just say, for example... Like, this is, the first thing we're going to do is take out the bullet, yeah? But then we might upsell them stitches. You know, we might also upsell them body armour so they don't get shot again. We might um, upsell them a course on the Matrix so they can dodge bullets. Whatever, whatever it is. The idea is that the morphine will take the pain away for a little while, but taking the bullet out and stitching up the wound, that's what's really going to solve the gunshot. Okay, and then educating and teaching them to avoid guns and to stay away from people with guns in the future so they don't end up in that same situation. Okay, it's a lesson there, and if you can teach them a lesson so they never make that same mistake again, they'll, they'll become your raving fan. So, this is what you need to know you have one simple thing that you offer, you give them a solution. Now, once they've given you their name or email address, or once you promise that, the first thing that you need to do, this video, the first thing it needs to do is deliver on what you promised. The first thing, number one, is deliver. If you told them that you're going to give them one, um, let's just say that you're in the health and fitness business, for example, and you're selling supplements, and you're like, this new supplement is amazing, it will do one thing that will change your life, then you need to tell them what that one thing is, and you need to give them that thing right there, because otherwise, they're not going to have that trust. If you tell them that you're going to give them something and then you don't give it to them, you're going to lose rapport, you're going to lose trust, you must make sure that whatever you promise, you deliver on. After you've delivered on it, 
then give enough social proof to people, just enough to sell them. So this product, depending on what it is, is either going to be a seven pound, a ninety-seven pound, a nine-nine-seven, or a, you know, like a, a ten thousand, whatever it is, whatever the price is of whatever you're selling, you only need to deliver enough social proof to sell whatever that price point is. So many people oversell themselves, and they're like, "Oh, I'm going to tell you about all these amazing things I've done." Respectfully, and I mean this with love, no one gives a shit about you. No one cares about me. Like, they may care about me personally on a personal level, but in business, people only care about themselves. All people want in business is to be happy. That's it. And your job is to take them from their pain to their solution. That's it. They don't care about all of the other stuff. They don't care about how much money you sunk. They don't care about how many problems you had last year with your developer that let you down. They don't care about how many different ads you've had to run. They don't care about how much money you've spent to get them there. They don't care about any of that. They don't care. All they care about is can you help them? And how quickly can you help them? And how simple is it for you to help them? So rather than looking at the big picture, look at one thing. They don't need to see the outcome. They don't need to know they've been shot. All they need to know is that you can take away the pain. Once you take away the pain, then you can gradually, step by step, guide them. Because what this is doing as you do this is you're building rapport. You're building trust. You're building a relationship. Okay? Okay. This is the problem that most men have when they get with a woman and put them straight in the bedroom and they forget the foreplay. That's what this is. This is foreplay. All right, And you're going to have a much better relationship at the end of this if you look after this side of it first. That's, that's all I can say about it. So depending on what the funnel is, depending on what that needs to be, that depends on your business. But what you should do is you should always know that you have to start off small, you have to build up the trust, build up the relationship, and then the outcome is the money. Don't focus on the money. The money will come. Focus on the person. Focus on the empathy. Focus on understanding their pain and solving their pain. If you do that, they will pay you for it. And just make sure that you have the systems in place to check this. I'm just going to look through some of the comments, see what you guys have said. Does this make sense, though? Hey, guys. Um, right, I'm just going through some of these comments. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Social proof is everything. Yeah, Jody. In fact, Jody, thank you very much. In fact, I, I was talking to Jody earlier. I had a call with him. Uh, amazing, amazing guy. Check, uh, connect with uh, Jody Rainsford if you haven't already. He was the one who was telling me it. And I was like, I know it. I just never got it before. Because there's two types of social proof you can get. And so this is quite important. So I want to mention this to you because... Like, the first type of social proof is just a testimonial, right? You can get somebody saying nice things about you. And that's great. And it helps. But that's only going to go so far. What is really going to help is a case study. That's what you need. That's the social proof that you need. And a case study needs to be backed up with factual, with figures. If you can back this up. So, hey, like, there was something recently in a group where a guy turned around and it was so simple. He said, I've got no room to write on here. But he said, I did an ad campaign recently and I spent £20 on Facebook ads and I made my client nearly a thousand. £20, £1,000. Everyone's like, I need you. Honestly, he was inundated with comments from people saying, can you help me? Can you help me? Can you help me? When you get this right, when you get, you only need one person, one case study. Use your dog if you have to. Use whatever you need. Take one person. Do it for free. If you're starting out and you're at the beginning of your journey, take one person for free through this process. Document the entire thing. And at the end of it, at the start, ask them where they are. On a scale of 1 to 10, where are you in these areas? And at the end, on a scale of 1 to 10, where are you? Okay, where was you financially here? Where was you in terms of your conversions here? Where was you in terms of blah, blah, blah? And where are you now? And then you say, I took someone from that, from that, and it took this. And you can use actual figures. Because people can relate to that. Because people want what other people have. And so if you can show somebody has been through this process and that it works, then they will be more likely to buy for you. Why do you think at the moment I'm going through my contact list? Because I'm doing my course. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a webinar. On the 14th of February, I'm going to be doing a webinar where I'm going to be talking about all of this. Everything. Everything you need to know. I'm going to be on the 1st of March starting my course. My course is six weeks long. And the way that I've done this now is because I've learned by my mistakes and I'm sharing that with you so that you know now. The mistake I made is that I built out, I wrote a book and then I built a course and then I had a workbook. 
and then I had another course, and then I had another product, and then I had this. And what I did is I just said, okay, I want to earn money, and I want to make money because I don't like selling myself because I work for free because I've got this fucking stupid issue around money, or I've had language barrier, right? I had this issue around money, so rather than me working for free and getting abused by people, I'll just productize the shit out of myself and sell that instead. Here's my problem, and this is why I know this. Here's my problem. I left people to it, and some people would get the book, and some people would get the workbook, and some people do the course, and some people would get to the next stage, and some people would drop off, and some people would do... Uh, doesn't work. What I need to do is I need to... This is a really bad drawing of a hand. But what I need to do is I need to hold them by the hand. So on the 1st of March, I am taking a group of people, and I am going to walk them through holding their hand this entire process. I am going to take people from the start. We are going to work out what is their problem, what is their pain, who is their target audience, where is their target audience. We'll do everything we need to do. We'll plan everything out. Then we're going to build everything. We'll build the whole thing out together. And then we're going to promote it and we're going to make sales. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to give people my book, my workbook, my online course. They're going to get my promote course. They'll get all of the content. But what I didn't do before, this is what I didn't do. This was my mistake and this is what I'm changing, is they're going to get me. I'm going to give out my private number. I'm going to give out a support group. We're going to do weekly Q&As. We're going to do live trainings. For six weeks, you're going to get unlimited access 24-7 to me, personally to me. And I'm only focusing on these people. That is it. Because I am building up case studies. I am building up case studies. And I'm going to get people results. Because at the end of it, when they tell me about their results, I will feed that back into the next course. And I will do the same thing again. And I'm going to take people through a six-week journey to build out their entire online presence. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments and I'll reach out to you. So let's have a look now. Uh, I'm going to go through some of these comments. Thank you, good to get clear, Juliet. You're more than welcome. What about traffic wardens? <laughs> so explain more what you mean about traffic wardens, all right? Tell me what you mean about that. Uh, Steve is amazing because he explains the basic structure brilliantly. Thank you, John. I appreciate that, mate. <laughs> I'll be dancing in the streets wearing my... Wearing my URL to my opt-in page. Go on Fiverr.com. That's the one thing that Fiverr is good for, is getting people to do things like that. I help people quit their jobs and become financially free. I also help people buy property with no money. Nice. I like that. That's interesting. Because everyone wants to own a property, and a lot of people don't have money. And so if you can help people buy property without money, and I love that because I love the whole concept about leveraging on other people's monies and creating deals and things like that. So, yeah, totally, totally get that. Love it. My traffic will be on fire. Well, here's the thing. You don't need a lot of traffic. You don't need a lot of people. You, 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 I, <laughs> tell you a story quickly. Uh, and let me just check what time I'm on for this, by the way, because I don't want to waffle too much to you guys. All right, so it's almost 30 minutes. Um, I worked for a company once, and I'm not going to mention any names, but I was in London, and I worked for a company, and we had a list. And on the, uh, the database that we had, it was 85 million names. I just... Take that in for a moment. We had a database with 85 million people on it. And there was a group of us that were working together and we were going around peacocking like, we're going to be millionaires, we're going to make money, this is a done deal, because we were so cocksure and certain of ourselves, like we had 85 million people, it was done. We, it didn't matter what we sold to them, we were going to make money. So we had to clean and filter the list, we had to get rid of all the crap, we had to make sure that we sold a product and service to them, and we sent an email out. The first email went out to, I think it was 10,000 people as a test. Uh, nothing come back. So then we thought, oh, it must be a mistake, we'll send out another 10,000. So we sent out another 10,000, nothing back. So then I think we sent out 100,000 emails. No one bought. But I can tell you now that I put a Facebook post up and I had 12 people buy recently. And that made me like four grand overnight. So we had 85 million people that made zero and I had about 10 people that were on a, uh, that commented on a post of mine that bought. I mean, look, the reality of it is it's good to have people. You want to build up a list. You want to build up a database. That is really important. But I would always, always go over quality rather than quantity. You only need one raving fan. They will do your marketing for you. Okay, focus on that one person, get that one person through, and then look at five people, and then take five people through, and then look at 10 people, and take 10 people through, and then take 20, and scale it up slowly. Okay, you don't need to jump straight in. The only reason I'm jumping straight in and taking 100 people on for my first thing is because I want to clear my debt. I want to pay off my still wife at the moment, but I want to pay Jamie off, I want to get everything cleared, I want to get myself sorted, I want to go and process my personal life and deal with all the stuff I've got going on. And the only way I can do that 
is by putting all of this into practice and taking people through. So that's, that's what I'm doing now. That's it. And by the way, that's the only thing I'm doing now. I'm not doing live events anymore. I'm not doing my consultations. I'm not building websites anymore. I'm helping people implement it themselves. I'm just coaching and consulting. And that's why I'm doing stuff like this. So if this is valuable to you, if you think this has helped, if the traffic and the conversions make sense and you get it, please tag someone in the comments, share it, let me know. Um, if you want to say anything nice about me, please tag me in a post. I'd really appreciate it because that is my social proof. That's why I do this. I can do this for free because I get in return. I give you value. Right? That's you. I give you the value. I don't want any money from you. What I want instead of money are testimonials and case studies. I want to know how you've implemented this and how I've helped you. Because if you can tell me how I've helped you, I can use that to help others. Make sense? I wish you were my business teacher back in high school. I pretty much wish I went to high school. Um, this has absolutely crystallized my offline strategy. John, thank you. Appreciate that, mate. Please tag me in a post, mate, and let me know. Um, hey love, missed it, don't worry gal, you'll be able to catch the replay, but I'll just keep waffling. Um, I get this, but it's the implementation to one's own situation is always the challenge. Working out what really suits and works for oneself through the messy process of testing. Absolutely, I totally get that. So here's something that I've recently learned that I'm working with, uh, I've got a client that I'm working with at the moment, someone who's going, going to go through this course with me, um, my, my six week course. Uh, and we started a little bit earlier just to, to help get her started. Um, and what we've realised is last year she spent £30,000 on software and lessons and experts and all of that shit to get her website and to have her business online. This was to create her online business. And as a result of it, she had nothing. She literally had nothing. She had some ideas but she sunk all that money and she would go to bed at night crying every night because she, could, she didn't have a business and it was stressing her out. And what I managed to do was sit down with her in one session, map everything out, and what these experts, and this is what really pisses me off about these experts, is that they will tell you, you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this. They go, oh, you need to do this, this works, you need to do this. I'm telling you now, nobody knows what works. People have got an idea of some things that have worked in the past or that have done well for other people and you can test those but until you have something you won't know you won't know you ideally need someone to sit down with you and say this is what works for you so this person was told that they needed to have a, an opt-in on their home page that went into a pdf download and they said they didn't want that that wasn't what they wanted and the pdf download then needed to go into an offer to sell because that was the sales model and that's the sales funnel they should have and that's what everyone else uses and this is what works but the reality is that wasn't right for her market. What she wanted was an ad that went in to give them a lesson. Nothing, no email, no nothing, because that lesson is so important, it will change their life. And she knows, she knows that when she delivers that lesson, they will want to know the next lesson. And you can deliver two lessons without even asking for a name or an email address. I give people the first chapter of my book because I know once they've read the first chapter, they'll get it. They'll want the rest of the book. Then I can get the name and email address. In fact, I don't even ask for the name and email address until people get my workbook. So for me, it wasn't about what this person was saying doing. It was more about what works in this industry. And then what happens from here is they go through this process. So I'm going to, I'm going to talk to you about, in fact, let me just wipe, wipe all this off. I'll give you a real example of a sales funnel that I built yesterday. I'm going to give you a real life example of a sales funnel that I built yesterday. And so you can see what I'm talking about in real time. Um, I'm not going to share any names because I don't want to, you know, if the client decides they're going to post something, then they can. But I'm not going to say anything because this is, at the end of the day, this is a client that I'm working with. But I'm going to talk you through the process really quickly. So what they've got is they've got an ad, okay, and that ad runs through to a video. All right, and that video clicks through to a, another video. So there's two videos. So this is their pain, okay? This is how, to, this is how they can instantly understand their pain, okay? Because a lot of people don't have the awareness of the pain. They're in pain, but they don't understand it. So we've got a free video, no opt-in, nothing. They get that, they understand the pain. This is a solution to that pain. So the first thing we do is we raise their awareness. Once we've raised their awareness, we offer them a solution. At that point, we have not asked for anything. 
Then we ask for an email to offer them a 12 step process so that they can not only work on the solution, because there's the, there's the problem, there's a the solution, they can implement it themselves, but if they want help and they want to get there quicker, they go through this 12 step process. And they get the first part of it for an email, and then they purchase the rest of it, uh, and I can't remember what the price is at, but it's something like £47, or it might be like £17, £27, it's something cheap. And then from there, at the end of this, they go into a webinar, and the webinar is a live training, and at the end of the live training, there's no sale. There is no sale on this webinar. This is a webinar, and at the end of it, they are sent to a questionnaire. Sorry, I'm, I'm writing down. So what happens at the end of the webinar, they're sent to a questionnaire, and that questionnaire basically says, are you this, are you that? And it diverts people in one or two directions. If they're not fit and they're not right for it, then they go into more of the digital products, or you know they're put into whatever until they're ready. And if they are ready, then what happens is a call is scheduled. They're given the opportunity to book a call. And when they book that call, the client then phones them up and closes them on a £2,500 package. That's the process. That's it. Simple. One process. You don't need to overcomplicate things. You need one thing that you can test. And then what we do is we say, right, how many people need to see the ad? So if we work on basically doing cold traffic to an ad and we say that 2% of that ad is going to convert, so how many? So first thing we do, sorry, let me take a step back. First thing we do is we work out how much money do we need to generate into our business on a monthly basis. So let's just say we need to generate £10,000. Okay? okay, so we know that when we close on this webinar, it's £2,500. So we know that let's just say that that's our month. We need four sales a month. Yeah? I'm just using this as an example. So now what we need to look at is, okay, how many people are going to come on a webinar? Well, on average, for how many, the people that show up on a webinar is normally 50%. Between 40 and 50% of people that register will show up. Okay, so we've got that. Then what we can say is, okay, how many people are actually going to do the 12 steps? So if we reverse engineer this all the way back, and we were to say, uh, like, 10% of people will purchase this, and let's just say, uh, no, let's just say 20% to be up, uh, we'll go to the second video, 20% to the first. So you're getting a 2% click-through rate on your ad, okay? And then out of that, all of the people who are watching this video, 20% of them click through to this video. And out of that, so if there's 100 people that are watching this video, maybe only 20 of them are actually getting through to this video. And if only 10% are getting through here, that means only two people are going to be taking this. And then if we know that 50% we're losing here, only one person's watching a webinar, and we know that we're getting a 20% close. Do you see what I mean? You need to start working out. So we know we need to get like 10,000 people to view the ad, and we know that if we're going to make this amount, and we can offset, let's say, 25% uh, on a budget, which means we can spend 2,500, so we know we now have a 2,500 pound budget for our ad spend, and we need to get 10,000 impression uh, click-throughs so that we can go through this. Do you see what I mean? It's maths. It's simple maths. Once you understand the process, you put the maths in place, and then you just you monitor it. And then, and at that point, you sit there and go, okay, I'm actually getting 40% here. This is great, excellent. But I'm only getting 5% here. So something's wrong here, so I need to work out what's wrong here. So what I need to do is fix this. That's it. And there's systems that you can use, and there's processes that you can use that are really, really simple that will help you understand so you can understand it build it monitor it and focus on what you need to focus on which is the outcome does that make sense i'm going to shut up now but that's pretty much it i'm just going to read through some of these questions please share it guys please like it please share it please tag people perfect Right, well, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much. Uh, I really, like all the people that are still on this, I really appreciate your time. I know this is time out of your day. Hopefully this has helped you and you can go and implement this. Please let me know. If you do implement it, let me know how it goes. I want to get like an idea of how you're using this because I can talk about it, but there's no value in me talking about it. I, I can give you an awareness and that's great, but if you don't go and implement what I've just told you, it's worthless. Okay, so you need to implement this. You need to take action on this. If you want to talk to me about my course, you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one for six weeks, you have the ability to do that. I'm going to be talking to you about that. So just send me a message. I'm happy to talk to you about that. 
If you need any, if you want to jump on a call and go through your personal stuff so we can work through your stuff, I, I will add that value to you. I will do that for you. If you want to jump on a call and work out your own personal sales funnel, send me a direct message, let me know, and I'll be more than happy to do that. Otherwise, have an amazing day and I'll speak to you soon. And please don't forget, tag anyone that think that you know that's got a business that needs to hear this uh, and please share it. I'd really appreciate that. Take care. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.